Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Thursday, December 2nd, and we are in the first week of Advent. So friends, let's begin our morning prayer with the Invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, <clears throat> as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. On Jordan's bank the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of kings. Then cleanse be every heart from sin, make straight the way of God within. Oh, let us all our hearts prepare for Christ to come and enter there. Awake, lyre and harp, with praise, let us awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, send your mercy and your truth to rescue us from the snares of the devil, and we will praise you among the peoples and proclaim you to the nations happy to be known as companions of your Son. Awake, lyre and harp, with praise, let us awake the dawn. Ooh, excuse me. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, proclaim it on distant coasts, and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd, his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen. 
They themselves shall be like water gardens. Never again shall they languish. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priests, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. The Lord is great. Excuse me. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city. God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together. Together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded. Dismayed, they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all round it. Count the number of its towers. Review all its ramparts. Examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is he who leads us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Ooh. Amen. Excuse me. Father, the body of your risen Son is the temple not made by human hands, and the defending wall of the new Jerusalem. May this holy city built of living stones shine with spiritual radiance and witness to your greatness in the sight of all nations. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. You will see his glory within you. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. I shall wait for my Lord and Savior and point him out when he is near. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, 
and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I shall wait for my Lord and Savior, and point him out when he is near. Alleluia. Christ is the wisdom and power of God, and his delight is to be with the children of men. With confidence, let us pray. Draw near to us, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you have called us to your glorious kingdom. Make us walk worthily, pleasing God in all we do. Draw near to us, Lord. You who stand unknown among us, reveal yourself to men and women. Draw near to us, Lord. You are nearer to us now. You are nearer to us than we are, excuse me, you are nearer to us than we to ourselves. Strengthen our faith and hope of salvation. Draw near to us, Lord. You are the source of holiness. Keep us holy and without sin now and until the day of your coming. Draw near to us, Lord. Gathering these prayers and intentions, calling to mind the intentions of our hearts, remembering each of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for. We pray those sacred words of Jesus himself, and together we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, we need your help. Free us from sin and bring us to life. Support us by your power. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me today for Morning Prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. Um, how good it is for us to be able to pray this prayer of the church, to pray with the church, to pray on behalf of the church, to pray here together. So whether you are out and about today, whether you're staying in, please remember to be safe today. Remember to be ha healthy today. Remember to be happy today. But above all, remember to be holy today. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.